Tiga, dua, satu Action Okay, what is up guys? Fun here with Za once again And here we have Knife eh? How are you man? Yeah, good Nama Samaran eh? <laughs> Today we have this unique bike uh, Our first ever scrambler eh? And to be frank with you um, Za and Knife eh? Scramblers are quite a uh, rare sight to see in Singapore eh? mm. Very uncommon to me eh? Yeah uh, Nowadays it is very uncommon. Uh, Last time when I was much younger, it was a very common bike. Mm. Almost scramble is like a head turner, you know, for head a chick magnet, chick uh, magnet. The RZ, <laughs> I, know, I know the Suzuki uh, yes, RZ is very common. The RZ was very popular back then. Uh, yes. uh, when it was at its peak. Now mm. nowadays we rarely rarely see, rarely uh, see DRZs. Yeah. But maybe if the RZ is out there, uh, riders out there, if you want to feature in our vlog, just contact Farhan, okay? Uh, <laughs> okay. So this one is a brand new bike, a brand yes. new model. I think come out just late last year. Late last year in, uh, uh, but okay. it's been in Indo for very long. So uh. this like uh, Indo Indonesian bike. Indonesian so bike. I think they only brought it in like only recently, like last few months, uh, just before the the lockdown. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, like it's a WR one fifty five R. WR one five five R. Okay, all these designations confuse me. <laughs> so before we before knife. Tell the story about his bike. Maybe we give a bit of background. Launched in late 2019, the Yamaha WR155R is a scrambler off-road class of motorcycle and is part of the WR series. It is powered by the same 155cc liquid cool for stroke SOHC, Volvaf and VVA equipped engine as with the R15, MT15, XSR155 <laughs> and it has the 6-speed manual transmission. Um, like I said, first time I'm seeing this bike and yeah, like, like I said, uh, scramblers are very rare in Singapore. Uh. So yeah. knife, I want to ask you, why did you get the WR 155? Okay, first of all, you know my friend, my friend like, uh, what you do? He was like, because before I bought a bike, he mm. was like showing me like, oh, this this bike nice, this bike nice, this uh, bike nice. Uh. So before this one, I actually had my eyes on the MT15, uh. MT15 R15 because it looks very sporty. Uh. Yeah, correct. Then it's a naked bike. Uh. Naked bike, and then the R15 because it's more sporty. You know, mm. I can't decide between these two. Then uh. my friend, he suddenly showed me this one. Eh, this one just come out here. It's like, eh, look like nice. Then you know, you all last time got watch Master Rider. Mm. Yes, correct. Uh, yes. yes. So Mass Rider, all of them mostly use scrambler. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, if you notice, all their bikes mostly scrambler. Yeah. So I just wanted that. Wow, Mass Rider feeling. <laughs> <laughs> I even bought a stylo helmet just to match with the engine. Uh, yeah, we saw <laughs> the helmet. Later we're gonna put it in the frame. Uh. I also mm. okay. So that was that's the story lah. So mm. how I got this bike? I passed my license just after the lockdown lifted phase mm. two. Sadly, right when mm. my first TP came out. It was the first day of the lockdown and also my TV. Wow. <laughs> Please, yeah. I remember that day, 7 <laughs> April. <laughs> A day for us to remember, bro. Yes. <laughs> Everybody you can have <laughs> Lockdown start, my TP also postponed. So no choice. Alamak. So uh -huh. the moment I pass after phase two open, then the moment that same week I go to my dealer, it's like mm. Bro, I cancel my previous bike that I down payment uh, reserve lah. I reserve a Duke two hundred. Duke two hundred. Yeah. Uh. So that's like totally far from NT fifteen. Okay. Fifteen. Yeah. But the Duke two hundred maybe like want to use for a few months, yeah. few years. Then after that, upgrade license. Upgrade license. Right? Yeah. Uh, correct. Then I saw this bike at the same dealership. Uh, it's like this one you have or not? Then he say I got pre registered one. Like someone back out. It's like hey, okay lah. I take <laughs> uh. because that week right, it was just before the. The COE height of then suddenly became uh, seven thousand. Yeah, correct. Uh -huh. after, that was after how to say the circuit breaker phase two lah. Yeah, when it first started, crazy So, yeah. so just before, just uh. nice, got a pre-registered bike. No uh. need to wait for COE. Ready, ready to go. Settle the down payment, everything, and four. Oh. <laughs> lucky, is that, bro. Yeah, that's right. Uh, lucky, is uh, get to get a, a pre-registered bike at the lower COE. Wow. Yeah. And, and it's, it's it's not it's not like very long register one. It's like. The week before I come over is already registered, mm. so it's quite a good deal. Okay lah, mm. a few months left only lah. Right. Right. <laughs> so bro knife, how is the handling and performance of this bike? Since you are a beginner rider, yeah. it definitely is way different than the one you uh, learn in school, right? Yeah. So how do you describe its handling? Okay, the school bike is what a CP 190R. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah. correct. It's very relaxed position, but still sporty. Okay. This one is super relaxed. I feel like I'm riding on a scooter. Uh, you know how the scooter sit, right? Like, mm -hmm. like, like office chair like that. <laughs> yeah, okay. but, Correct. So it's similar to that but like a bicycle seat. So you feel more your butt 
take a divorce. After a long time, <coughs> okay. So handling wise, the front suspension is super soft. Okay. So if you put too much on the front brake, mm-hmm. you like go down and go up. Ah, so for street see, riding, st- stop and go, right? Uh-huh. Not sure ah, the feeling. I see. see. Yeah. But for highway wise, I mean, like any other bike, lah. But so, very relaxed. So do you intend to bring this to track? On track? <laughs> on the track? Oh, on the, oh, on the, the track? track. Ah. Yes. Oh, track, yeah. track? No. <laughs> I mean, if you notice, my tyre not the stock tyre. Mm-hmm. I change it to a more... Off-road one. Off-road. Semi, semi Semi off-road, yeah. The yeah. original one, even more off-road. It's so ah. stubby that every day mechanic I go to, bro, this one cannot pass lah. <laughs> At oh, the station. Yeah. And the stock tyre have this like, Noise like the like, not, not say the road, but when it goes at high speed, you hear a siren sound. Ah, like, eh, irritating see, lah. See. Irritating and also like when you corner, like no confidence. Mm. Ah, okay, so I, I change, see. have to change tire. Uh, handling wise, is like a very big motorized bicycle. Ah, uh, mountain bike, mm. motorized bike. <laughs> motorized mountain bike. Yeah. Okay. okay. So we know this bike actually says shares the same engine as. Most of the Yamaha bikes lah, yes. the 150 mm-hmm. series. So um, I think acceleration performance wise and uh, the engine reliability should be somewhat similar. Yeah, similar. I think so. Yeah, but, and since it's already shared with uh, the other uh, Yamaha R15, <laughs> MT15, uh, <laughs> all the list down there. All the list <laughs> to be and the list, the list goes on, mm. except for a different configuration because mm. I was. This, this one doesn't have a slipper clutch. I think no, you told no. us that, yeah. No slipper yeah. clutch. Yeah. Mm. Uh, the sprocket is bigger than the, the regulars. Mm-hmm. Mm. To be bike. It's like 51 teeth. Mm-hmm. So your off the line is like, you can brap all the way. Ah, uh, that see, feeling is there. Yeah, of course lah. <laughs> a scrambler must have, uh, the, must have power. The yeah. uh, uh, then you shook, you know, uh, then ride the scrambler. <laughs> <laughs> We all know that this is a scrambler. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we wait, wait for this guy to leave first. Uh. Knife, we all know this is a scrambler and uh, definitely, how to say, it lacks in practicality. Lah. Sorry yeah. to say. Lah. True, true. Uh, so, how do you manage that? Mm. Well, okay. Because mm. this bike, I use small portion of my time for like delivery service. Mm-hmm. So when I tie my box here, Mm. Oh, you uh, tie your box? Yeah, I tie uh. my box, use the cable. Then, mm. there is no room for me to swing my leg over. Uh. Uh, so I have to mount using a special method. I step on this back, uh. climb over. Oh, wow. mm. <laughs> so that's why mm. I drop this bike four times. Oh, you drop it stationary lah. Stationary drop four times. <laughs> but it's okay bro, if you never drop the bike, you're not a rider. <laughs> two, two times one side, two times the other side. <laughs> so uh. even, even. Okay, I yeah. see, I see. Besides, any... This is a scrambler. If you go to that track, you uh, definitely drop. fall one. <laughs> yes, correct, correct. Then the miraculous part about dropping, uh-huh. no damage on no my damage. fairing at all. Of course lah, motoplastic. During my NS days, uh-huh. uh, my team, right, uh, most of the most of the guys are motorcycle riders. Now. Yes. So yes. only one of the guy, only one, my friend, he rides the WR200. Uh-huh. And he was the butt of the joke. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> will, be, will be teasing him. Mm. Uh, calling him uh, motoplastic, motoplastic. <laughs> because he's the only one that rides a scrambler. <laughs> Kesian lah. Uh, but in no way we are making fun of you lah. Because, yeah. how to say, uh, it's a unique bike lah. So, yeah, so as the speed lah. Mm, and then definitely, on the roads, it, it is a head turner. Because you rarely see any scramblers nowadays. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Uh. I mean, I had, I had like people on like their Aerox or whatever. They mm. re- really come up to my bike on a stoplight. They uh. look at it. So some uh, most of the time I have my music playing, uh, so I uh, can't tell. You cannot so hear. I cannot hear, so if uh, they ask me anything, so they just look up and down my back. I was like, I from my side view I can see. Uh, so it's like, <laughs> okay, okay, you checking on my back. Thank, thanks. Uh, okay, uh. <laughs> you felt like, oh wow, wow, wow. nice, uh, nice yeah, to get, uh. yeah. Yeah, mm. yeah, most of the bikes we see on the road uh, are either scooters mm. or uh, naked bikes. Naked bike, yes. Yeah. Or normal, normal motorcycle, lah. Uh. Or sports, uh, mm. sports. Or sports, uh, yeah. Sports, sports, yeah. Sports. Rarely sports. a scrambler. Yes, rarely. Yeah, scrambler. rarely. Only, only those enthusiasts. Enthusiasts, uh, uh, such as knife lah. Yes. <laughs> okay, so um, fuel consumption and uh, how far can you go on a full tank? Okay, the tank is actually quite small. 8 uh, liters. Mm. 8.1 liter. 2, 2 liter is the reserve, I mm. found wrong. So most of the time when the indicator start blinking, it's mm. usually around 2 liter. Mm. So fuel consumption wise, I calculate lah. So this is my egg aggregation. Around <laughs> 45, 44 kilometer per liter. Which is... Mm-hmm. 
quite common for some most modern bikes. Uh. I see, I see. Yeah. So total range? Total range. Uh. Uh, uh, roughly, uh, no need to be so specific. From using my trick meter, before when it starts blinking, it starts blinking at 280, 280 mm. km. Mm. Then 300 still can go. But it's still blinking. Uh, so like, playing it like very, you know, Actually, gosh, this is similar to what I'm using right now, the ADV 150. Yeah? Because mm-hmm. the tank is also 8 liters. Uh-huh. And the range is somewhat the same. Mm. Uh, 300 plus. Uh. So 300 usually uh-huh. is my maximum that I am safe. Feels, I feel safe lah before, mm. before I feel like they're against my diet. Yeah, but don't take the risk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my, I might need to slowly extend, extend, extend. Like next day try 310, next day try 320. <laughs> uh. Try lah. But uh. Make sure you build, make sure you bring something ah. Because yeah. like, I see one guy on, on a DRZ put a small fuel tank ah. For touring External, uh. external for, one For, uh. for, touring, for, touring, for touring, yeah. I will do that. Uh, oh, you do plan to bring touring on this bike? Yes, because me and my friend, we, we actually plan to go up north when uh. the restrictions are lifted. Mm-hmm. So, this bike, I yeah, my, I think, uh, might mm. be suitable to go up north and slowly mm. maybe reach all the way to KL first, then mm. to Phuket. Do it, man. Mm. Do it, man. And, and for uh, you, you go for motor camping trips. Better. Yes, uh, go uh, off-road. That's what uh, we were considering too, but my friend riding an XSR. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, like, what is uh, Semi-off-road. Uh, semi-off-road. Uh, semi-off-road. 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 Okay. So, what are the modifications you have done so far? So, the only thing I did was uh, the tyres mm. uh, and my handle guards, mm-hmm. uh, which is a bit uh, very workshop done, like at home DIY kind style. Okay. If you notice closely, mm-hmm. my right side here, or is it my left side? Right side. I had to cut off, trim off the handle guard uh, so that it can fit. And mm. even then, right, my handle uh, brake lever is pointed upwards. Mm. Uh, so that one not 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 short, So I will change this when I get a new one. Uh, yeah. Then the only other thing is the tire. The tire I have to explain. The normal stock tire is very knobby. Mm. It's mm. like the size of your thumb, the knob. <coughs> you know? mm-hmm. So when you start riding at highway speed, mm-hmm. you will hear this noise, like a siren sound, like Meh. because, and it is from the tire. I didn't know at first until my friend pointed it out when we were riding together. It's like, hey, why you got like noise? Ah? <laughs> <laughs> I, thought, I thought it was normal, you know, because uh. my first bike, yeah, I, thought, I thought it was a normal thing for uh. all bikes. I didn't realize it was like tire. So run in, basically, you think. Yes. <laughs> but it's not running in, it's just the it's naturally just, the tire. It's just naturally the tire. So mm-hmm. I had to change that and it was, a bit troublesome to find tyres for a scramble bike. It's not very commonly stocked up. Ah, uh, okay. So managed to find one eventually. And mm-hmm. I, that's the only major thing performance wise that is mm. changed. Okay, so you also change your uh, cosmetic wise, you change your uh, cosmetic cos- mm. the grips as well. Grips. Because mm-hmm. I dropped my bike four times. Okay. The first two was with the stock grips. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I like the side koya already. Uh, yeah, this one cannot. Uh. <laughs> and then you also got ram mount, is it? For the it's GoPro? A, the China Ram mount. China, uh, China, <laughs> China Ram mount for GoPro. The uh, China mount for, for my phone. Mm-hmm. I mean, every everyone now needs a phone mount. Yeah, mm-hmm. correct. And uh, then you also got USB, external USB. Uh, what? The external USB uh, uh, with a volt meter. Most of the things on the handlebar is DIY own self install. Uh. You own self install? Uh, uh, even the handle guard. Wow, Except for I'm, the grip. The grip I need to go shop because I don't have to do. I'm really impressed a knife that you install everything on your own. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Even the what the voltmeter also yeah, I'm vote. impressed. Uh, because this one uh, for me I would I don't dare so I see my I see my mechanic Abun uh, he go and do my one uh, he open <laughs> the tank the wire everything and I was like oh lama lucky I lucky I go to him sir. Oh <laughs> speaking of the opening up the pipe right mm. at my battery everything is conveniently located at the front here. Ah. Uh, with one with one turnkey no need to open seat or anything. What about accessories for the WR155? Accessories. Oh, um, as if uh, you can see or not in the internet. Or yes, uh, mostly from Indonesia. Indonesia. So I have a friend in Indonesia, mm. which uh, we just like call him our cheap motor bike guy. Uh. So I have him buy for me a wheel set. I'm not sure if it's okay to use yet or not. But mm. I'm gonna just get it here first, then mm-hmm. change later. Mm. So that will be converting it to a super moto style. Wow. Yes. Then I another see. accessory will be they call it a skid plate. A skid plate. Yeah, a skid plate for adventure bikes so that your mm. rocks won't kena your engine or stuff. Mm. So that's one coming over as well. Uh, other accessories not so much uh. Maybe I will wrap the the bike. Uh. The bike. Yeah. So, so yeah. Mm. So safe to say that there are some accessories for the, the WR155 uh, yes. but only you cannot get it in Singapore. Uh. Yes. Must mm-hmm. import. Must inside. import. Mm, yeah. Even the performance performance things like, like mm. 
your chain and stuff. Now I import lah. Because yeah. here, the parts will come in, but slowly lah. Slowly lah, because I think this bike is not as popular yet lah. Yes. Yeah. Is this bike uh, suitable to do for delivery riders? No. No. Totally, I will fair out say no. <laughs> I, I don't know if you will include the footage lah. Later, I'll show you how I mount the bike with a box on. Mm. And I will just explain why it's not suitable. Mm -hmm. But now I just say lah. First of all, cannot mount anything. No <laughs> rack. No yeah, rack. No yeah. rack. Yeah. Okay. Ah, yeah. The rack also I buying coming over. Mm. So first of all, no rack. Then your box will be a bit troublesome to put mm -hmm. on. So That's why don't why don't you just just, just like wear backpack over the back uh, backpack? Second second problem. Uh. The bike is very high. Uh. Seat height very high. <laughs> so if you have foot inside the bag and you want to swing over your leg, uh. imagine the water blum, water blum, one. Blum. Yeah. <laughs> Not nice. And you come the 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 foot, the foot all, all, all drops. Yeah. 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 Uh. If you bicycle still okay, but uh. motorbike is even uh. higher than the bicycle. Okay, okay, I understand. Mm. That's, That's the understand. problem. Uh, then so totally I will fair out say no. But I have tried. No, mm -hmm. but doable but no. Doable but no. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, but since you are a beginner beginner rider new rider so would you say that this bike is suitable for beginners for beginners uh if you just pass your license and yeah. you plan to get this kind of something similar of this mm -hmm. bike i recommend you check out the seat height see if you can see on it or not first mm -hmm. uh, that's more important because i dropped this bike four times i must emphasize four times mm. <laughs> so, <Lucky laughs> la. so oh, if you if you knew bike you know rider right then you mm. like Buy a new bike today. Oh, oh sakit hati. Hati. Sakit. I understand the feeling, bro. It's okay. I understand the feeling. But I, I got this bike with the impression that it's a very like kempuang one. Like ah. you crash a few times, still can jalan. Yeah. yeah. So that is for me. It's okay. For other people, if you're a new rider, don't get this bike. <laughs> you, I mean, you can if you maybe you can maybe if you have the interest in yeah. interest and scramblers mm, scramblers yes. you want you plan to go off road up north or something uh, or maybe uh, you want to you be a chick magnet eh? <laughs> <laughs> hey, i've seen the rz's uh, they bring girls behind no you say chick magnet, oh, chick magnet. but the seat, yeah. the seat not magnetic <laughs> it's okay it's okay uh, don't, this one i cannot say on camera uh. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're a new rider i don't recommend but if you have the interest or you have the like mm. The off-road spirit, right? Like, mm -hmm. like, or something like me. You just want to poser, become a common rider, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you have that kind of interest, and go ahead, get to this this kind of bike, uh, scrambler. Mm. Interesting sharing a uh, knife. Uh, this WR one fifty five, ah, new bike, never mm -hmm. really see on the road before. And uh, Azza, what you think? Yeah, I, I mean. I, it reminds me of my younger days, you know. <laughs> if I was much younger, I would probably get one of these, you know. Mm, yeah. as, as a, uh, I want to show off, want to, you know. Uh, you already uh, confirm cannot lift your leg, right? <laughs> Because in, in uh. at one point of time in Malaysia, uh, there are the the local bike uh, like Modenas and uh, the Mark, they come out a series of motards, you know. So, chicks, it's like a chick magnet, you know. Chicks will be like, woo, woo. And it's the same so, uh, in uh, Singapore also. Yeah. So, so uh, I told myself, Shala, if I can, if I own a Ducati Monster or, or a DRZ, 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 yeah, DRZ if I yes. can own a DRZ yeah, and right beside them, I tell you, I. Not posing, not posing. Okay, lah, guys. So, Knife, thank you so much for sharing your ride with us. Seriously, thank you so much. Uh, very one of a kind ride indeed lah. Yes. Yeah. And uh, expect I expect it to be. You know, I expect more riders to ride in the future lah. Hopefully, yeah, 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 I get more support for parts and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True, true, true. <laughs> okay, guys. So um, that's it for the vlog. Any riders want to review bikes with us? Uh, do contact us in our social media pages. And uh, yeah, we will see you in the next one.